Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the North St. Paul Legion. Thank you all for coming. This is a great turnout. Um, we're going to make this very short and sweet. My name's Mary Caval. I don't work for the city. I don't have any affiliation. I'm just a community member like you guys. So I want to make this very informal. Each candidate has about eight minutes. We have two spots open for city council, and we have one open for mayor, one mayor candidate, and five city council candidates. So we're going to get this party started. Terry Furlong. Thank you, Mary. Uh, I want to thank Mary and Archie for hosting this tonight. I think it's important for all of you to hear from uh, myself and the other candidates. So if we can give them a round of applause for hosting this. I'd like to introduce my wife of uh, 31 years. Sandy, if you could stand up and just kind of wave. I hate to put you on the spot. <clears throat> In the next couple of weeks, we'll be celebrating our uh, 32nd anniversary. Uh, we have two kids. Uh, one is in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, uh, him and his wife. Uh, my son works uh, in the park system. He's a conservation officer for the Grand Tetons, and his wife is a nurse in Jackson Hole. My daughter has been calling me every day the last couple of days. Uh, it's, she's been in 94, 95 degree weather, sunny. She lives in uh, Las Vegas, and she is an interior designer for a uh, commercial architect firm. My education is I went to Bemidji State University. I have a degree in business administration with a concentration in finance. I also have a degree in environmental science. Uh, my experience, I, th I think my uh, most experience has been on the council for the last 10 years. I've been past president of the Oakdale Business and Professional Association. I was a trustee with the uh, Church of St. Peter. As a trustee, uh, we merged two parishes together, and we also built the, uh, the beautiful church over there at St. Peter on uh, Margaret Street. I've also been the uh, district chair of Friends of Scouting uh, with the Boy Scouts of America. And I'm also uh, past Eastwind for the uh, 1996 Winter Carnival. That's kind of my, my, fun, my fun experience. I'm also a local business owner. Uh, I have been for the past 31 years. I started the liquor store when I was 24 years old, and here we are today, 56. And I'm, I'm, I'm humbled that I've been able to stay in business this long and in the environment that we're on today, you know, against uh, family business and all the box stores coming in. So I'm very proud of that accomplishment. Uh, some of the past accomplishments I've done in the past few years, uh, I think the number one thing that really uh, holds true to my heart is the Veterans Park uh, right off of 36 there in Margaret Street. I put together a group of veterans and non-veterans and we put a plan together we put a, uh, a design together, and from there we raised about $30,000, $40,000, and that just wasn't enough money. So we were thinking about how can we raise more money. We went to the state. The state, uh, many people uh, around us from the state told us that uh, they probably won't give us any money because if they gave us money, then other cities throughout the state would have to uh, they'd have to give them money also. But we didn't stop. We uh, actually, with the, the help of the city, we put a plan together. We went down to the uh, Senate committee for uh, bonding, and we put our little uh, effort together. We, we represented our plan, and within a couple, couple days after we had presented, we were uh, told that we were given $100,000 and we're also given $10,000 from the legacy, legacy Fund. So we raised 110,000 from there, and we raised over $100,000 just individually going out selling bricks. Raised over 200 and about $210,000, and we're able to build the Veterans Park over here, which is just a gem for our city. Uh, thank you. If you haven't been down there for a program, it's, uh, it's really worth going down there. We've done uh, quite a few programs down there, and the veterans are just so, it's so nice to, to work with them. 
Uh, another project that I, that I was part of, uh, I've been a part of the Park and Rec, I'm a, the, li the, li the liaison from the uh, uh, City Council. Uh, before I was the liaison, I was on the Park Commission for many years. I was the committee chair. But the past few years, uh, our commission, our wonderful Park Commission, uh, we have uh, built Case Lake Park, uh, their, their shelter over there, or the park building. It uh, overlooks Casey Lake. It's not a huge lake, but it's, it's a nice little lake, but just a great venue. I also helped uh, Sarah and Tony Soraka for their uh, uh, playground. Uh, we put a lot of, uh, Sarah raised, raised a lot of money. City kicked in a little money, but Sarah did most of the work, and we made a, a mystical or a magical uh, playground down there. So if you get a chance, go down to Casey Lake, and it's just, uh, just a great uh, place to go and bring the kids, and also if you want to rent out the uh, park building, you can do that also. Why am I running for mayor? That's a good question. Uh, I had told myself that I would be done with council after the end of this year. But with the mayor not running for re-election, I was rethinking my position. I felt with the position open, there needed to be someone in place with the, with the uh, experience and knowledge of the council. The city has momentum right now on key development sites such as the Anchor Block site. So after a lot of prayer and support from my wife, family, and friends, I decided that I wanted to take on the, le the leadership position as mayor these next four years. I am one that will work with the council and residents. I want to listen and I want others to be heard because we may not have the same ideology, which I respect, but I hope that we can come to a conclusion that is best for all of North St. Paul and we can still have the utmost respect for each other. I also have a lot of relations with neighboring cities, our legislators, and school district. I'm also a good friend of the History Cruisers. Why do I love North St. Paul? Because of you and all the people that live here. I am very humbled and honored to be able to serve, hopefully, as your next mayor. Last but not least, there's a pancake, pancake breakfast here this Sunday put on by the North St. Paul Lions. So hopefully you can make it Sunday. Thank you. That was perfect. I gave everyone eight minutes, and I'm timing them. <laughs> Candy, some of them said it won't take them eight minutes, so it's okay. <laughs> and I have to follow that great speech. <laughs> Hello, my name is Candy Peterson. I'm currently uh, serving on the city council for the past eight years. I'd be honored to be uh, voted in again. Um, there's a lot more we can do. Um, a little background about me. I'm a lifelong resident. Recently widowed with three grown sons, and uh, I have the energy and the time to devote to what it takes. It isn't two meetings a month, folks. These people will learn that it takes a lot of hours and uh, to do a good job, and uh, it's not about the money, it's the love of the community, and I have that love for the community. Um, I currently are on many, many uh, volunteer um, Committees, I'm on um, Ramsey County League of uh, Local Government. I'm their vice president. I am the uh, president of the Minnesota uh, City Women group. I'm in Lions Club, Lake Elmo Lions, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and I'm involved with uh, the Park and Rec uh, for Ramsey County. And I'm a liaison for the St. Mark's Lutheran Church and I'm on the executive board for the Cable Commission who is uh, doing this tonight, which we appreciate. Um, the city is in a very good uh, situation. I think uh, redevelopment is happening, like uh, Mayor-elect said. Um, the memory care is gonna be a great asset built on the old 622 bus garage. Um, row houses on the old anchor block site with possible retail and maybe a restaurant. So the developers are finding North St. Paul. 
you know, we're we're quite a, you know, a small little town, but we're right where the, where the intersections are. It's easier to get to, and we're finally getting uh, getting our due. I think, with uh, Terry Furlong's leadership, new leadership, our future is very bright. And I thank you for stepping up. Um, my background is an education degree. I worked um, for 20 years at Tartan High School, and now I'm retired, and I kind of help with the golf dome. My father owned that, so that's my business uh, experience. Um, I learned a lot about, um, I went to 16 of the uh, National Night Outs in August. It was a hot evening, but there's a lot of drug houses in this town. It was a lot more, I got educated that night. They would point out this house, this house. So we gotta get, these are, these are bad actors. We've gotta get down on these people. Um, we have limited resources out of city. You know, we like to, we have to provide the essentials and the extras are kind of hard to come by because we have budgets, constraints, our uh, police and fire, our big budgets. But I think we can be a little bit more creative with financing. Um, I believe in public safety, safer neighborhoods, and uh, we should keep an eye on the rental properties. If you live by rental properties, you know what I'm talking about. I have a couple in my neighborhood, and they have to have a little bit more con uh, constraints, I think. I want to make our city more uh, viable, where you could raise a family and, you know, enjoy a life here. Um, I'd like to bring back some fun things. You know, we don't want to be gloom and doom on the crazy days. Uh, maybe a street dance was very successful. I want to do an all-city garage sale. Um, the car show is awesome, and we love Paul. But I think we can expand on a couple more things, and we can get things sponsored. It won't be city coffers. We can get things sponsored, and I have those connections, too, with um, some of the business owners. So I'd like to thank uh, everyone for coming out, and please remember to vote on November 6th. Thank you very much. Well, well Scott obviously didn't hesitate, so ladies and gentlemen, Scott Thorson. <laughs> Hello, yeah, my name is Scott Thorson. Um, I, uh, was previously on the council back in 2013 to 2015. I've lived here in North St. Paul my whole entire life. I uh, attended elementary school at L.C. Webster, went to John Glenn Middle School, graduated from North High in 2002. Uh, went to college, uh, studied business administration at UW-Stout, decided I wanted to get into the uh, accounting field and uh, transferred to UW-Eau Claire and uh, eventually finished at UW River Falls um, studying accounting. Um, I work in town at uh, Thorson Breidinger and Novak. It's a family accounting firm. So I have a background in uh, working with numbers and budgets. They are an interest of mine. So that's something that I enjoy being on the council. That can be a difficult thing to deal with. And I've got some experience with that on uh, my previous years on the council. Um, yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I I'm guess I'm just looking forward for the opportunity to uh, serve again. I think there's uh, some exciting changes that the city is uh, looking forward to, and uh, I'd like to be a part of that again. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, meeting and mingling with everyone afterwards to answer uh, questions and comments. So thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ronnie Springler. Springler. Sp Springler. New faces. Hi, everybody. My name is Ronnie Springler. I moved here about four years ago. I moved from St. Paul to North St. Paul uh, purposefully. I'm a widow. I was a widow at 38 years old. I have four beautiful children. Uh, my son, Joey Getter, is back there. Say hi, Joey. Joey Getter is the reason I breathe. Um, as I said, my husband died when I was 38 years old. I have four beautiful children. My oldest son, Mike, is um, going to be 33 years old. He is a regional director at Aerotech. He's a graduate from St. Olaf, and so is his wife, who is a manager for Health East. They have given me two beautiful grandchildren. Um, I understand 
the challenges of having a wayward child. My second son, Daniel, is a drug addict who's in recovery, and we work with that as much as we can. My third son, Matthew, just graduated a year ago with a degree in education and looked at me after he finished his student teaching and said, yeah, I'm not going to do that, Mom. <laughs> okay, well, he's building boxes, but he's loving his career. That's where I encourage them. Um, Joey is 24 years old. I'm going to talk about you, Joey. Joey is autistic, profoundly autistic. He changed my career field. I started with accounting. Um, with Roadrunner Transportation way back in the day. Um, I immediately, upon discovering that he was gonna have disabilities, s fell in love with the education system for special ed. I've since been working in a level four program for 21 years and I just transferred to Humboldt. Um, for St. Paul Schools, I've been with them. This is my 21st year working with special education. Um, I get the kids that nobody else wants to play with. Let's put it that way. They're my, they're my favorite kind of kiddos. Um, when I moved to North St. Paul, the main reason was I was born in a different state in a small town, and I got that feel from North St. Paul right away. I wanted to be where I could get my son the best services ever and have the most amazing community with that small town feel in the middle of a metropolitan area. Um, I left St. Paul because of crime. And... A year after I moved here, I now have a drug house across my street, and that's how I became involved with the community events. That, and I'm going to kudos Candy. You know I warned you, and Terry too. Um, right away, they started working with me about one of the street projects that it just wasn't working for my area in the community. And so myself and my neighbors started advocating. And then it went into the drug houses, and again, Candy has been diligent working with me. So I've learned a lot about our community. I've learned about the crime. I understand business. I grew up in a grocery store. My parents did foster care for 30 years. I get how to work with our community members. And working here, I made the decision, I never thought about politics, that I think we need a new standard and one fresh face at least in here to start looking at it from a different perspective so we can actually start seeing different ideas. I've talked with small business members and I hear what they're saying. I grew up in a small business. I think my voice would be heard there. Um, and I will be really honest with you, I'm about the people. It's not about the money here, as Candy said. There, it's really not any money. And it's definitely more than two meetings. I spend 10 to 20 hours a week dealing with my community members already in this area over these other issues. So um, my belief is that I can't complain if I don't do something about it. And so I'm willing to take my time for two years to start and learn this and try to help our community be the safest community and grow our small business but not lose our small town feel. That's it. Thanks. Chris Johnson. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chris Johnson. I'd like to thank Mary for putting this together and the other folks that helped her. And I'm honored to be up here with all these fine people. Becky and I, my wife Becky over here, we've been in St. Paul, North St. Paul, since October of 2013. But she's been around this area pretty much her whole life. So she's got some deep roots to the area. And she's brought me along. Me, I started out in Nebraska on a farm. Moved up here in 1966. My mom and I basically ran the resort for a few years. So hard work kind of came on early. I have a daughter, Devin, sitting over there. Stick your arm up, Devin. She's my sweetheart. Devin graduated from the University of Minnesota and I couldn't be prouder. Myself, I have a high school education. I listen to the people up here and their educations and backgrounds. I'm pretty simple and pretty boring compared to them. Uh, what I've got going for me is just a lifetime of blue collar work. I run on common sense. I can think on my feet and address just about anything that comes at me and figure out what to do with it. And I've taken a great deal of pride in that. Over the last year or so going down to the city council meetings, I've gotten to know 
pretty much everybody. And quite frankly, I think everybody's just wonderful. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity to work with everyone. I'm on, on board with pretty much everything that Terry and Candy has said, and Ronnie as well, and Scott. The city is going in a direction that it's exciting, is a future to look at, um, and I'd love to be a part of it. There's lots that I don't know, and I'll never claim to know it all, but I certainly know where to go get the answers. I've had people offer to help. <laughs> that being said, I look forward to uh, November 6th and hope I come out on top. No offense, gang. <laughs> and by the way, what's this about money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Cole. Boy, last but not least, I'm holding everybody back from the cookies, so I'll, I'll try to make it quick. My name's Tim Cole. I'm running for city council because I believe it's time to put a fresh face for a fresh future. A little background about me. Uh, born and raised in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. A lot of the same characteristics that came from here. Small town raised, small town values. I graduated from Augustana University with degrees in both business administration and economics. Uh, my wife Kelly and I met in college. Um, where uh, after graduating college, I moved to St. Paul to start my professional life. Uh, we've had the opportunity to live in several cities uh, across the United States, returning back to Minnesota in 1996. We're 21 year residents in North St. Paul. Um, my wife and I chose to live in North St. Paul for a lot of the same reasons that you're here. It's a small town community with small town values and good people. Um, I believe uh, I've been an active member in North St. Paul um, community. I'm currently on the Park and Rec Board. Thank you, Terry. Um, I'm former vice president of North St. Paul Area Hockey Association, former member of North St. Paul Athletic Association, coached a variety of sports, including football, basketball, softball, baseball, and remain active in North St. Paul coaching and sports until both my boys graduated from college. Um, both, my boys uh, both my boys attended St. Pete's and graduated from North. My family's kind of over there, if they can wave. Uh, in my professional life, I'm a strategic sales business uh, professional, a small business owner, and a volunteer. My professional life has brought me the ability to be an active listener, a collaborator, and find common ground. Um, the negotiation skills that I've learned will allow me to provide a strong balance in city government. Being a small business owner has taught me budgetary skills. Sometimes you gotta focus on the wants, or excuse me, focus on the needs, not the wants. Um, and I believe these skills will help, help manage our budgets within the city and, and help keep some of those levies a little smaller than, than what we have been talking about. Um, as a volunteer, I also give back to the community. Uh, I'm an active member in uh, St. Paul Vulcans and Winter Carnival, the opposite side of the fence from Terry. Um, uh, I've been involved in several fundraisers and charitable organizations through that. I'm also a volunteer and fundraise for Metro Deaf School in St. Paul. Um, Mary asked a couple of questions. Talk about why you love St. Paul. Wow, that's easy. Um, we moved here as a family back in 19, my wife will correct me, 87, 97. Um, exactly for the reasons that, that others have brought up. Small town value, small time feel. Um, North St. Paul is a great small town with big city amenities around it. Um, you know your neighbors, your neighbors look out for you. As residents, we take pride in our schools, in our churches, parks, local businesses, and community activities. Little things from the booyah, from the fire department, and the car show. What a great way to spend your day and spend your nights. Um, I also love the responsiveness of city services. Um, whether it's city hall, public works, the police, or the fire department, they have a responsibility and respond to their residents, and I would like to be a part of that. Um, having lived in large cities across the country, I sincerely appreciate the fact that I can call or send a letter or an email to the city and something gets done. Perfect example, street sweepers come. Well, they don't know what day your garbage is out on the street. Well, all the cans are out in the streets and the sweepers couldn't hit the curb. Quick email to the city explaining what was going on. They were out there the next day doing it. What a phenomenal, what a phenomenal city we live in to, to have the city be able to be that attentive to its residents. You don't find that in the larger cities. We don't have to worry about 
odd even parking on snow days, um, whether our cars are gonna get towed. City crews out there and they got the streets cleaned within hours of after it stopped snowing. Um, why I'm here, what I wanna do, the two things that I really wanna drive home and bring part, economic development and residential development. Growing tax base is vital to keep North St. Paul property taxes low and to slow down levy increases um, and still allow us to provide additional services to, to the residents. It's my mission to collaboratively work together and expand the city's tax base by taking advantage of the opportunities that we have with vacant lots um, and private development to attract new businesses, restaurants, and to continue to develop our downtown. And a lot of that is taking place right now as we speak. Um, and I also want to remain and continue to be community focused. North St. Paul has affordable housing. I want to make sure it's critical that we remain a destination for, for young couples and families to call North St. Paul their home. A lot of the same reasons we call North St. Paul our home. To accomplish that, I want to remain focused on parks, crime rate, enforcement, and holding our public schools to be best in class. Um, building on that backbone to a strong community is safety and the health of our residents, our family, and our children. Uh, I want to continue to demonstrate the commitment by improving the health and wellness of the committee, by making sure we adapt to the ever-changing needs of, of the community. And I also want to work alongside police and the fire department to ensure best practices to make our community safe. Being community focused also requires being a good listener. And I want to hold quarterly residential meetings that will be able to answer and address the concerns in an open fashion and have immediate answers and responses. Thank you. Wow, they did really well. They kept it short and sweet. We're not going to keep you guys here too long. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank our candidates again. Thank Archie and the North St. Paul Legion. The bar is open out front. There's a menu. We have full restaurant service now. Um, and just thank you for coming. Now I'm going to open it to mingling. I, I want this to stay nice and casual. There's cookies, water, coffee over here. Help yourself. That's it. <laughs>